Hello Capricorn and welcome to my channel Tarot by Gabrielle. This is going to be a reading for March 2023 looking at your recent past, your current energy, and your immediate future. I've already gone ahead and pulled the oracle cards for the overall energy for the reading uh, so that we can jump on in. I have the tarot deck that I'll dive into already shuffled as well as the decks that I'll be using in the extended. Any information on the extended reading or on booking a personal reading with me is in the description box below. All right, Capricorn. Um, I'm not going to lie. I feel like I'll, I'll definitely go over the overall energy, but I'm going to need some clarification to, to tie this all together. In your recent past, you have take inspired action with the higher men. I don't know if this is about gaining the wisdom, information, knowledge that you need to take inspired action, or if you used some knowledge, information, or wisdom that you had gained to take inspired action. I feel like this is, I feel like it could go either way. I, I do. I really feel like it could go either way. Um, I feel like either way, though, whatever action that you're wanting to take or that you have take, taken, I really feel like is the right move for you. And I feel like there might be um, a little bit of second guessing whether or not that's the case. Uh, here in your current energy, you have focus on the positive with the two of swords. This two of swords is kind of giving me second guessing energy. Um, but with the focus on the positive, you know, when we're outside of our comfort zone, especially if we take action that is in alignment with our path, we typically start to experience a lot of obstacles. And that is very intentional because that allows us to work through a lot of the fear, the self-doubt, the limiting beliefs that we have that ultimately kind of keep us from um, where we're trying to go. Now, the overall energy for this reading you have is protection and home. So what I feel like this is talking about is whatever action you're taking is action toward bringing your soul home, like bringing your soul, like coming back to yourself almost. And this path is very protected. You're very protected on this path. So when, you, when you're talking about second guessing yourself, I mean, it's so easy to be like, just don't, right? Just don't second guess yourself. Trust yourself. Believe in the universe, which in your immediate future, you have trust in the universe. Um, but this really is about realizing that your soul your soul wants to take the path that you're taking so you're on the right path i feel like is ultimately what i'm what i'm trying to get out here in your immediate future you have trust the universe with the four of wands um this is a lot about mindset your immediate future is about paying attention to your mindset and making sure that your mindset is in alignment with faith with trusting the universe and not in alignment with fear because with this focus on the positive yes this can be kind of second guessing yourself but the way that i also see this is it's kind of interesting because look at the way that these cards are lined up it's almost like like you can choose one direction or the other and this is almost like saying like go this way go focus on the positive go this way i know that that's a sagittarius symbol but the way that, because this is a new moon and Sagittarius card, but the way that I'm saying this is like, it kind of, it was like lined up perfectly when it was laying down, but it was like, you have a choice on where you want to focus and you can focus on the obstacles. You can focus on what I've always kind of called the gap, like how you want to be here, but you're here, especially if you're taking action towards something new. Um, this just really feels like having faith that you're protected on this path. And I feel like that's, um, that's ultimately what's coming through here, but Let's start by looking at Capricorn's recent past, clarifying, take inspired action with the Hierophant. Recent past for Capricorn, clarifying, take inspired action with the Hierophant, please. The Six of Pentacles in reverse with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Ooh, okay. I actually, I'm going to get one more. I want to get a little bit more clarity on this. What is the Six of Pentacles in Reverse saying? King of Pentacles in Reverse. One more. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Your intuition has led you to this path. And your focus, you need to remove your focus as, as hard as it is really try to remove your focus from allowing the material aspect of this path to get in your way. Meaning, if you've started a new career, 
um, have a little bit more faith that the finances, that the stability will come. If you've started a new relationship, have, you know, the faith that it's going to evolve into what you're looking for. You know, right now is really a time you have a choice. You can focus on all of the ways that things aren't perfect, or you can focus on the positive. And that's kind of where your energy is at right now. Now your reset past, you know, this 10 of pentacles in reverse is kind of this need to tap into gratitude. And that's really hard to do when we're feeling like we're at a place of lack, but that's how we shift our mindset from a place of lack to a place of abundance. And the biggest thing, you know, to remember is that our perception and our expectations create our reality. If we expect to lack, if we expect things to go wrong, we will typically start to experience, you know, triggers or experiences that align with that fear, with that, you know, perception. And so the more that we can bring ourselves back to gratitude and try to switch from a lack mindset to an abundant mindset, the more that we start to realize that, oh, we create our own reality and we don't have to let the fear and the uncertainty and the lack control our path. Now, again, that is so much easier said than done. And I feel like your recent past was kind of dealing with potentially frustration on the fact that you haven't been receiving, you know, the fact that you haven't been, you felt like you've been giving out more energy than you're getting, you know, maybe in the form of finances or in the form of love or abundance in general, like whatever the case is. But I do feel like this is about trusting that the universe has your back when it comes to this path and that you are going to get to a point where you feel like you are um, receiving just as much as you're giving. Recent pass for Capricorn, please. There's the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Ooh, and the Queen of Wands. This is something that you're taking action toward. Your recent past, you were feeling really ungrounded. I feel like maybe you took some sort of a leap of faith towards something. That or you are debating. That could be, like, I I feel like it go either way. I really do. And I feel like maybe that's, Just one of those, this is a general reading, it's not going to resonate with everyone kind of thing. But I do feel like your recent past was feeling very ungrounded, feeling very unstable, feeling like maybe your needs weren't being met or you you were lacking and feeling safe and secure and grounded. And I feel like it has specifically to do with something that you're investing your energy into. Something that you're investing in isn't giving you back the stability that you're looking for in what you're investing in. And I feel like this is about, I really feel like this reading could go two ways. And it's about realizing that you need to invest in something else that that aligns more with you, something that you want to take a leap toward. Or it's realizing if you have already taken this leap of faith that you're you're protected on this path. Either way, you're protected on your path. If you've taken the leap or not yet, you're still protected on this path. Um, Ultimately, because this this I feel like is pursuing something that you're passionate about, something that you care about, something that's ultimately going to lead you to your Ten of Pentacles here. Reset pass for Capricorn, please. Reset pass for Capricorn, please. The Magician. Ooh, with the Seven of Cups. You're overwhelmed about whether or not this path is going to whether or not the outcome, the ultimately I feel like the focus is on the outcome. I feel like you're focused on whether or not this outcome is going to come to fruition. On your path to whatever you're trying to manifest, it's also your path back to yourself. Clarifying this magician, there's the moon in reverse. You're just working through fear. You're just working through fear. And that's the biggest thing is when we are on the right path, we do face a lot of obstacles. And I, I said this kind of at the beginning because, you know, I, I talk about this in a lot of readings. If you woke up tomorrow with everything you've ever wanted overnight without having worked through 
the fear and the self-doubt and all of you know that stuff you would sabotage your success away and again that could come down to meeting the person that's perfect for you you know or having the abundance that you are trying to create or whatever the case the path to get there that's the most important part i feel like in a lot of capricorn readings i've been doing recently i keep like the the whole it's about the journey not the destination thing keeps just really really being um a big theme you know it, it really is about the process to get there and everything that you work through on throughout that process and it's not about the outcome now of course that's so much easier said than done when you're you know bigger picture thinking is always easier said than done but when you when you're in the thick of it it's not so easy to think that way and i understand that but Remember that your mindset is your power. Your mindset is what creates. I mean, that's why you have trust in the universe with the four of wands. This four of wands meaning, you know, mindset. Your mindset creates your reality. It really, truly does. Per the law of attraction, what we focus on, we, you know, we create. What we give energy to, we experience more of. And so, it, you know, whether or not you believe in, you know, the law of attraction in that sense or not, it comes down to realizing that, we create our own reality one way or another and our mindset you know going back to just simple kind of cognitive behavioral therapy techniques that our thoughts become our beliefs become our actions become our reality when we um when we think a certain way over and over again when we believe you know when we think something over and over again be it i'm not if this isn't possible i'm not capable this is never going to happen this isn't realistic whatever the case is that becomes a belief and then whatever we believe, we then act on. And then those actions become a reality. It all starts with the way that we think. Our mindset is truly what creates our experience. And so this is about realizing that you're allowed to be afraid. You're always going to experience fear. You're always going to experience uncertainty. You're always going to experience obstacles. Those are never going to go away. That, you know, you're never going to get to a point where you're like, ah, oh, yes, life is so easy. In fact, I saw a TikTok the other day that really – um pointed out that point and in a way that was kind of like kind of hit me uh pretty hard and it was the realization that there are three things that we can't avoid and that is pain uncertainty and constant work we will always be we will always experience pain in one form or another we will always be experiencing some form of uncertainty and we will always be constantly working towards something um those are three things that we cannot avoid. And that's okay. You know, we don't need to, it's about finding faith in this uncertainty. It's not about being so certain about your path that it's easy, right? That's, that, that is like, that, that goes against the whole point. You know, the whole, it's about the journey thing. All right. Current energy here for Capricorn. Clarifying focus on the positive with the two of swords. Clarifying. Focus on the positive with the Two of Swords for Capricorn. I'm still looking. It's kind of cool how that, like, is splitting off like that. I've been more interested in the images on my cards recently. I've never really done that before. Okay. Current energy for Capricorn clarifying. Focus on the positive. The Queen of Cups in reverse. Ooh, okay. You are experiencing... Um, I do feel like you're experiencing... I don't necessarily know if it's obstacles or if it's, I feel like it's obstacles. Hang on. I want to clarify this two of wands here. Some sort of energy of allowing your emotions, like there's, oh, it's confusion about your path. That's exactly what it is. It's confusion about your path. But here's the thing, I feel like you know what you want. I really do. I feel like you know what you want. And this is just about taking action toward that. Or continuing to take action toward that. Either way, um, whatever resonates for you. Don't let your emotions, don't let your confusion or your being, feeling emotionally overwhelmed by the process or by, you know, how far away you are from a goal or how long it's going to take or whether or not it's possible. Don't let that stop you because that will, 
you'll stay trapped in that energy for forever if you allow it to, right? You can always be afraid of whether or not you're going to get there, how long something's going to take, or whatever the case is. Something on my tooth. Give me just a second. All right, Capricorn. I hope that wasn't too gross to hear. I don't like listening to people keep swallowing. <laughs> um, okay. So confusion about your path. And that's why it's like you're kind of you could be kind of at a crossroads. Like you don't really know what to do. And it kind of is like I mean, it sounds so cheesy, right? But listen, follow your heart. Follow what you want because that is going to lead you home, if you will, back to yourself. And and that path is always protected. Current energy here. Ooh, that's kind of interesting. So I want to go back to what I was saying about you know, talking about this. Now look at where this card is facing. Your, the confusion is because the energy that you're giving is to this side, the negative side. The positive is where you should be directing your focus, but so much energy has been going toward the negative. See, I've been watching the images of my cards and it's been really cool. Okay, current energy for Capricorn. And that's so hard to do. It's And it's not, you know, I'm not about like that whole toxic positivity. Like everything's great no matter what. Like that's not what I'm saying. That's not, that's not realistic. But you can understand that you can say, yeah, I am afraid. It makes plenty of sense that I'm scared because I'm taking a leap of faith toward this passion. I'm taking a leap of faith toward this relationship I want. Like whatever the case is, you can acknowledge, yeah, it makes sense that I'm scared. But I'm going to focus on all of the good possibility. I'm not going to focus on all of the ways things could go wrong. And trust me, even just saying that out loud, I could use to take my own advice. Um, but, you know, the, it really is about your choice of where you focus, where you, where you direct your mindset. Current energy for Capricorn, the Knight of Pentacles. You're slowly building towards your happiness here. It's, it's a slow and steady process. And that's the biggest thing is like when we take, you know, leaps of faith towards whatever, you know, we want on our path, we want it to happen overnight because we doubt it's ever going to happen. But when you can learn to have faith that the outcome is going to come and just enjoy the process, then you won't really care how long it's taking because you'll be enjoying the process. <laughs> um, the worst thing that we can do to ourselves is get caught up in believing that the next thing that we achieve or the next milestone that we reach or the next phase in our life is going to make us happier than we currently are. Sure, every time we get to that next point, we might experience kind of an emotional high, you know, being proud of ourselves, feeling excited, feeling good, but eventually that high wears off and you are left with the way that you feel right now. So don't try to, don't think that getting there, getting to the outcome that you're looking for, don't think it's going to make you any happier. In fact, learning to trust the journey and to appreciate the journey for what it is, that's where the happiness exists. That's where the faith, you know, you build the faith and you build the um, fulfillment that you're ultimately looking for. Expect nothing, be grateful for everything, right? That's extreme fulfillment. But trust me, it's so much more difficult. Um, so much or so so much easier said than done. All right, current energy here for Capricorn. As you're building this, whatever it is, you're healing. It's going hand in hand. You're healed, healing while building this. Whatever you're building, whatever you're investing in, whatever path you're taking, you are, you're experiencing healing. That's kind of cool. I mean, that, that's when you know you're on the right path. Because it's it, your healing journey and your manifestation journey start coinciding. Clarifying this star card, I'm going to make sure. King of Wands. Yeah, it's like as you take action. As you take action, you're healing. So that's the biggest thing, right? Of course, you're facing obstacles, but you're also healing from those obstacles. You're, those obstacles are also helping you heal. They're helping you, you know, we got to feel it to heal it. We have to face it to release it. And so if you're facing, you know, fear and frustration and uncertainty and, you know, whatever else that could be there, good. That means that you're headed in the right direction, right? Um, now, of course, that's 
again, it's bigger picture thinking is always easier when you zoom out your perspective. But that's why the way that I do my readings is I don't sit here trying to read your circumstances because that doesn't help anything. Learning about the bigger picture, the overall energy surrounding them and where you can place your energy versus where, you know, putting your energy kind of hurts you, um, not hurts you, but isn't the best for you is um, what my point is, what my focus is here. Okay, immediate future for Capricorn, clarifying trust the universe with the Four of Wands. Immediate future for Capricorn, clarifying trust the universe with the Four of Wands. Immediate future for Capricorn, please. Release your tendency, try to, this is what the universe is saying, try to, release your tendency to focus on what doesn't matter. How do I say that in a more specific way? Again, like, it's not that it doesn't matter. It's almost like it's the universe's problem, not yours. Like, how am I going to make money pursuing my passion? How am I going to ever find the love that I deserve? How am I, how is this going to happen? How am I ever, how am I ever going to get there? Don't worry about that. Quite honestly, that's none of your business. <laughs> it's the universe's problem. Um, that's why you have trust the universe. Because the more that you focus on that stuff, the more that you are going to allow yourself to get lost in doubt and fear and insecurity and everything. You know, it, it's it's releasing a lack mindset. I mean, that's exactly what this five of pentacles in reverse is saying. It's releasing a lack mindset. Release yourself from, switch from a lack mindset to an abundant mindset and you will watch miracles happen in your life. I promise you. Not overnight. It's going to take time, but you will. Immediate future for Capricorn. And it's, it's not easy. It's like people always think, especially people who, you know, watch my channel and, and see my readings, they think that like, I'm always like, oh, I'm always thinking positive. I've, always, I've got all this stuff down. Like I'm always thinking an abundant mindset. Hell no. <laughs> I struggle with this stuff every single day, just like you guys do. That's why I feel like, it, you know, it's easier for me to bring my experiences to life in these readings because I am going through it with you. So don't think that this is me saying I got it all figured out. I mean, I think I have a good understanding of what, you know, needs to happen, but I'm not saying I, I know everything <laughs> or that I, um, in fact, I've, I used to think I knew everything in my last tarot channel I had, but this time I'm realizing that I know nothing, which is a good thing. Good place to be. Okay. Immediate future for Capricorn, the Emperor in reverse. Okay. What is this control? Where is this control stemming from? It's clarifying the Emperor in reverse. This is, oh, okay. Hang on. Clarifying the Emperor in reverse. Don't try to find solutions. Let solutions come to you. Clarifying the Emperor in reverse in Capricorn's immediate future. There's the Four of Wands. Same Four of Wands is right there. Don't let solutions come, or don't try to find solutions. Let solutions come to you. Interesting. So, you know, oftentimes when we try to find our own solutions or force solutions or other cases, we often kind of end up getting in our own way of the universe solutions that are often a lot better than the ones that we, you know, kind of create for or kind of come up with. I want to turn this off. I don't like having those lights on it. Um, so this really feels like it's about, you know, I mean, that's why you have trust the universe with the four of ones. Trust that solutions will find you. Every single obstacle you face on your path, there will be a solution. You're protected. This path is protected. Don't try to control. Don't try to finagle <laughs> your way through obstacles. Try to surrender to them and trust the universe. You know what? Even if it, you have to send up a simple prayer to whoever you believe in, God, the universe, your higher self, you who's <laughs> praying to you, um, saying, you know, there's an obstacle here. Now, I pray to find a solution or I pray to find a way through this because that will allow you to take your bigger picture thinking and apply it to this to the obstacle as opposed to trying to force your way through it, which 
typically kind of ends up getting yourself lost or stressed or overwhelmed or whatever the case is. Immediate future for Capricorn. It's about learning to trust the universe, Capricorn. The Two of Swords. Look at that. These all keep coming out upside down. And you have the tower. I want to clarify this message. What is this Two of Swords saying? Because it's the same Two of Swords as right here, right? Like, same kind of either way. It's like you hold... Okay, clarifying this Two of Swords. The King of Swords with the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Ah. This is basically saying for all Capricorns out there, and really anyone, it is kind of, not kind of, it is really up to you. Like, you have the choice to choose faith or fear. That's what this is coming down to. You have the choice to choose abundance or lack. And it really does come down to whatever it is that you put your energy towards. Are you going to put your energy toward, you know, gratitude for where you're currently at and help that shift your mindset to abundance? You know, this actually the third card that came out with this, and I almost took it. I would, kind of wish I would have, was gratitude. Um, and then we've seen that Ten of Pentacles in reverse kind of come out a lot talking, or I've seen it around the deck talking about needing to focus on gratitude. Focus on gratitude for where you're at now and trust that the rest is going to fall into place because that will allow you to release yourself from from lack it's like it's almost like this is it's up to you about whether or not this is going to come together or not and it's it's really like your mindset is going to be your your biggest um power all right capricorn we are going to hop on over to the extended i'm going to clarify these messages jump into some advice and i have an actual advice card to pull at the end i'm using a different deck for advice cards this week so i'm pretty excited i've liked them so far um Thank you guys so much as always for the support of my channel. It means the absolute world to me. I hope that this reading helped and resonated in a way that you were needing today. And I wish you absolutely nothing but love and healing on your journey. Thank you, Capricorn.